The other tendency in music across all the patterns that we'll look at is what I call the musical question and answer. And this is usually seen in pairs of lines that start off the same, but they end a little differently. And specifically, the first line ends on sort of an unresolved note. Perhaps the melody goes up, or there's a chord that's not the root chord. It sort of leaves us in this unresolved space, like we really don't want to end the song there. The second line is what gives us that resolution. Either the melody goes down or it ends in some direction on the root note, on the root chord, and we have this feeling that we're ready to let go of the song, either end the song for good or move from that verse or that phrase onto the next one. For example, let's take a look back at London Bridge that we were working with before. Let me play it through for you and see if you can hear what I mean by that musical question and answer. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. So let's break it down. The first line, London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. Now, I'm still on my home chord, I've come back to that, but notice the melody is leaving us in a place that's somewhat unresolved. Falling down, falling down. I would not end the song there, right? It's sort of begging us to keep going. Let's answer the question. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Ah, that feels much more resolved. We're on the home chord, we're on the home note as well, that root note, and we feel like we can either move on to the next verse or just end our song right there. In another example, let's take a listen to uh, Skip to My Lou, another children's song. In this case, you're going to hear not only the melody indicate the question and answer, but the chord as well. Stick it in the key of F here. Here I go. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip to my loo, my darling. Did you hear it? Let's break it down. Once again, here's the first line. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Don't want to end the song there, right? Not only are we on, our, uh, on a chord that's not the home chord, remember this is the key of F, so we're over on C here, but the melody is also leaving us in this place of not really being resolved, not wanting to end the song there. We want to keep going to answer that question. Skip, skip, skip to my loo, skip to my loo, my darling. Ah, that feels so much better, right? Not only is the melody come back to that root note, I'm back on my root chord again. Now notice what that did to the groups of four. Initially in our first line, we had two groups of four, one group of four Fs, one group of four C's. Second line started the same with four F's, but now it changed to, to really solidify that answer. Two C's, skip right back to F. That happens a lot in setting up that question and answer. Sometimes the beats on each chord will change to suit the melody in the song sounding more like a question and then coming to that answer. So once again, the point of looking at this is just simply to help you practice zooming out in a song rather than looking at it chord for chord, zooming out and seeing the bigger picture for how the song is organized. This will be really helpful as we start to tackle uh, the first of our specific patterns that we're going to look at.